Genshin Impact's 4.0 update for Fonte is upon us, and they're already surprising us with some huge updates with a new dev discussion. This contains some incredibly good news this time around, so stick around because of these are the things we've been asking for. Starting us off, we have a ton of changes to artifacts. As expected from last major update, we got new artifacts in the strong box, and once again, we're getting even more. This time we are receiving Tenacity, Hail Flame, Shimanawa's Emblem, Husk, Clam, Vermilion, and Echoes. I think this one's pretty exciting since a lot of these domains are specific to characters like Pale Flame and Vermilion, so it feels pretty bad to farm there. Generalist sets like Emblem and Tenacity are also a big deal because a ton of characters can make use of them, and you won't have to constantly dump resin in there to get some other garbage artifact. To top it off, we are getting even more artifact space. We are upgrading by 300 slots, or 1,800. Our inventories have more reason to hold on to 5 stars to strong box. More inventory space also pairs well with now being able to select 4 star artifacts to destroy. A good amount of players never hold on to 4 stars, but having to slowly click through them one at a time to get rid of them is the most tedious thing you could do, so now you can just select them all. They also mentioned that they are thinking of some ways to make locking artifacts better, which I'm not really sure what they mean outside of like making a hotkey maybe, or maybe making the UI cleaner, but if there's something they know that will make the overall experience better, then hey, I'm down for it. All of this is good stuff, but the absolute best news that has potential in this article is this sentence here. Regarding current cumbersome process of equipping artifacts, we are currently discussing a new plan to help travelers select and equip artifacts as quickly as possible. Oh my god, finally. Now we should keep in mind that this does not directly state anything about how it will actually be implemented, but it definitely skirts the line of our most requested feature, artifact loadouts. With how many people talk about the issue, you would expect it to be like most RPGs who have a loadout system, but I think it's really important that people draw out some concepts and put and put some thought behind them so that Hoyoverse knows that we want it. But what's an artifact without some weapons? I mean, we use the top you, you know what? It's whatever. At this time period, if you have bought the battle pass since every patch since 1.0, you can have all the weapons up to refinement 5. So of course, Genshin has confirmed that they will add 5 more weapons to the pass in 4.0. This is great for people who have been buying the pass every patch, but also they don't remove the old weapons as well. I do really hope the new 5 weapons are good, because the original ones are already great well-rounded weapons, and if you're willing to fork up the money, it's usually worth it. There is still a ton of more great news regarding the 4.0 update, but let's cool off with some system changes they will be adding. Gyroscope controls for PC and console platforms. If you don't know what a gyroscope is, it is basically something inside your game controller that when you tilt it around like a joystick, it'll actually move the camera for you. This is great, as I've played many games who make effective use of this feature like Splatoon and Overwatch, lessening the reliance of having to use always your thumb on the stick to move around the camera. Especially with a game like Genshin whose combat is relatively fast paced, you do want to be able to look around without having to take your hands off the controller. Something that I am massively excited about since I do videos and stream for the TCG is spectator mode. We have been begging and screaming for this since 3.3 and they're actually adding it. The TCG has a very hard time making videos and live streams because it's so hard to hook up multiple people's perspectives just onto one screen. You have to coordinate with the players and you have to coordinate with the crew who's laying the live stream. It is a lot of people involved and a lot of things that need to get right. This feature makes it super easy also for console and mobile players to share their games with their friends because the setup otherwise is so terribly complicated and especially like if you're a mobile player sometimes your phone is too weak sometimes your wi-fi is too weak there are so many things that can cause your stream or just trying to share games to people that cause it to fail what's super nice is that this feature is not bare bones you can change who you want to view your duel you can change how you want to present it you can show oh i want you to see my card information or oh i don't want you to see my card information uh to you know kind of protect your game so people don't cheat over them and overall like there may be some things to work out you know definitely in the tournament setting but at the end of the day this is a huge change that makes it so i can actually you know we can watch players who can't really stream because it's such an impossibility with the modern technology. Last dev talk, they mentioned that they would be adding multi-layered maps, which allow you to see the underground and overground layered maps separately. This change should have definitely came during the 3.0 patch as it's available on Hoyo Labs interactive map, but better late than never, as I'm sure they will add more underground areas in the future. So enjoy having a much better time exploring the underground. Last and certainly not least of the potential changes is that the devs have made a statement on regarding the daily commission system. 
The current daily commissions mechanic is not flexible enough. What we'd like to share here is that there's relevant optimizations that are currently in the pipeline, and when the time comes, travelers will be able to obtain daily rewards in a new format. This change is a long time in the making, and also kind of related to the most recent release of Honkai Star Rail, which also has a daily system, but checking off your dailies in Honkai Star Rail is so much easier because they intentionally made it so it lines up with things you want to do in the game. For example, on the daily, go fight some enemies, go clear a domain, go collect some certain items, etc. They even have talking missions that are significantly less tedious than Genshin. Sumeru was a big offender of poorly designed talking commissions because you would have to teleport constantly all over the place. And if you're on a device that has bad load times, you have bad Wi-Fi, this would make your commissions just exponentially longer and ultimately very tedious. I overall think Genshin Impact's commissions are okay, but small things to make it more in line with things that you want to do, like for example, like I said earlier, clear a domain, go kill some enemies, get some gold, do something like that, is going to make them much, much better. Like I said in Artifact Loadouts, you should absolutely create concepts and talk about why you don't like the current system, so that if this change ever does come out, you can see the changes that you want happening. Go comment below what you don't like about commissions. Lastly, an update that's related to the main draw of 4.0, that being Fontaine. After completing the Archon quest in Monsta, a teleport waypoint Sumeru will unlock automatically. This is a great change aimed at new players so that they can get materials for Fontaine easier since otherwise it would be an incredibly long trip before they made it over to the region. The creation of this change is kind of made by Hahoyo vs. Die in the Desert being incredibly quest walked, but at the end of the day, I'm really glad that they added it because that way players don't have to slog through hours of gameplay before they actually get to the region. And if you were curious where this is located, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hoyo Lab interactive map. So right here, I'm zoomed all the way out. You can see Liyue, you can see Sumeru's jungle region and the three major desert regions. And the region that they want to have this help waypoint is gonna be in this half of the desert. Now they didn't specify which one. However, I'm gonna take a guess and they'll either give you a statue of the seven or one of these teleport waypoints right here because if you have explored this area of the desert you do know that there's a little whole uh, river that leads all the way out to the sea and you know as a result i want to speculate fontaine is probably up here and that makes a lot of sense and so if fontaine pokes out in this corner it makes a lot of sense why they did this because you would either have to travel from all the way over here and like that's a good that's like that's a nice guess like this is painful you don't want to do that and that is all for the developers notes i'm so happy they're doing things like this because at the end of the day everyone understands that they are kind of working on quality of light changes in the backgrounds you know like that map feature was you know a month ago or so that they talked about and it's so important that we enjoy these things and give them really positive feedback about them because this is the thing these are the kind of things we've been wanting for a long long time now, like I already mentioned, there are some things that are solidly in, like the artifacts, the battle pass, but things like the daily commissions and artifact loadouts changes, they are thinking about it. There's nothing confirmed. So if you want to see these changes happen, talk about them, discuss with your friends, comment below. I'm going to do videos on them later. But yeah, that's going to be it. Of course, the special program is going to be in two days. We're going to see all of Fontaine, or we'll start a bit, but you know, same, same thing, who cares? And of course, like Mbappe, I will be there no matter what. So I will see you Friday reacting to the video. And that's all. Subscribe, like, goodbye.